Uh, so, and now let's have a look how the third example of gallery uh, works, the carousel example. So, uh, this screen uh, comprises of a, uh, two buttons, uh, name and description for the offer, and uh, you can see that the data being transferred to the screen uh, is the current offer. And again, uh, rectangle covers the uh, the image the, uh, so that the uh, design is being um, is, is works properly. And again, uh, to display the image, we have a list uh, of the same list of offer pictures like in, in the previous example, filtered by the uh, current offers. So in this list, uh, there is just there there are just pictures those pictures who belong which belong to the current offer and filtered again by the selected picture uh, so the logic is the same when you click the number three button uh, the offer is selected uh, the number three button the uh, current offer is selected you update uh, the user uh, with the select set the selected picture ID and then we go to the third offer screen. So, uh, but how does car carousel works? Uh, pretty simple. So we have, as we have the variable picture ID, uh, the only thing we need to do is to increase it and decrease it. So uh, by clicking uh, next button, uh, we have the uh, action that we update the selected picture, picture ID, uh, we increase it by one. And with the clicking by clicking previous button, we decrease the selected picture ID by one. Uh, that's why uh, it's quite important to maintain the IDs of the pictures in order uh, so that you have, if you have five pictures, you have ID from one to five, one, two, three, four, five. If you, for example, uh, miss some ID, one, two, then four, then the third picture will not be displayed because uh, this um, increments and uh, uh, decreases, they work uh, in just in arithmetically. So, uh, there, but there is no way to know whether uh, the picture with the uh, next ID uh, um, exists or not. So, and this comes to another problem. Uh, how do we stop when there is no more pictures? For the previous button, it's uh, pretty simple. Uh, we have uh, um, an option that this button is sometimes visible and it is visible only uh, when the ID of the selected picture is greater than one. So if it's the first picture, we don't display this button. If it's more, second, third, then we display this button. And how do we stop presenting the next button? Uh, again, not very complicated as well. So uh, we, you may remember that we have number of picks uh, field in the database for the current offers. This is the maximum number of pictures which this offer has. So uh, we display this button only when the current ID is less uh, than this number. So if we have five pictures, uh, and picture ID is four, the button is displayed. When uh, the picture, we have, the, we are not on the fifth picture, the button is not displayed. So uh, the downside of these solutions uh, are that you have to maintain the database in good order. So if you miss a picture ID uh, or put it incorrectly, uh, the things will not work as expected. Uh, however, it, um, these solutions present a good way to make a gallery in a dialogue. 